I, th I thought we were going to have to have an update. <laughs> it is that time. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Dead Redemption 2 is out. Oh, that intro. My, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. How long we have waited for this day to come. Feels great. Oh, see, this is this is the first time I played it. What is that? Okay, you should be able to. We'll go right there. Subtitles. Uh, let's do on. get right into it I'm excited oh look at that horse you know what I want I want one of those giant muscle horses like I won't be able to just ram through a fence bull dash 424 is now online <sighs> he's probably jumping on red dead too man if you guys are like on the brink or like I haven't even I haven't even played it, but I'm telling you right now, we'll go out and buy this game. Go out and buy it. Won't regret it. I know everyone's like, it's just a Western version of GTA. I, I don't don't think it is. I think it's something more. A lot more detail. I feel like went into this. For like GTA, it was just like all about heist, 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 heist. Like, oh, what are we gonna do this? There's like some family background, but let me just go shoot him. Hopefully with this, there's going to be a little like, but I love you, Karen. You know? I don't know. A little more family side. Oh, there we go. By the 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. I struggle reading cursive. I don't know if you guys do. I don't like struggle, but sometimes. America was becoming a land of laws. I think it says land of laws. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be reading this to you guys. A little talkative. A little talkative right now. Even the West had nothing. I don't even know. I don't even know. See, this is why I shouldn't be reading. Also, here the soundtrack in this game is just amazing. Like, it's gonna win a lot of awards. Like, the whole game, world, like, all rounded out, the whole game, a lot of awards. Red Dead Redemption 2! Oh! Jumping straight in. Let's get it. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Nice intro. I don't know if you guys played all the other Red Deads, but this happened before, before um, Red Dead Redemption. And it happens after, it's like Red Dead Revolver or something like that. I forget what it's called. 
Chapter one, baby. Chapter one. Quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out. See if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay, we don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. <laughs> Careful over this bridge here. Oh. Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You a 
up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Uh, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm trying not to. Oh. I'm, I'm just trying not have to talk over them. John? Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Oh, Scotty. Left point. That's a tiny health bar. Let's hitch up here. Watch out. Oh, the hitching post. I, I was just, I thought I was just walking towards a rock. I was like, let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. I think that's what he's talking about. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some There's a body food in the wagon. Or something. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy.
Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. What is this? Outcakes? Can I eat it? O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Martin Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Taking all this stuff there. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Go up here. I think one of the things this game uh, they were talking about doing a lot better than they did in GTA is the ability to go into places. What is this? Is that a radar? I got it all. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. All right, let's see what that means. <laughs> to here near the lake what are you bastards doing why are you up here uh, we're fixing to rob some train gonna blow the tracks no, I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done oh Choke, spare, I'm gonna spare him. Get the hell out of here. Go. Thieves, so careful. 
Can I not just hop on it? So I'm a little bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Look how much snow there is. Get away from that! What the hell do you do? Oh, the knife out in the cellar! Why up there, ain't you? Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them O'Driscolls. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you fucking oh, fool, Michael? Miss, now it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm, Miss. Miss, come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. Now. Oh. Jeez, Louise. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. He ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh. Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. Well, that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Alrighty, guys. If there's a stopping point here, I'll probably end it here. I guess after this cutscene. <laughs> He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, 
He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Here's some trip. Alrighty, guys, I'm probably gonna have to end it here, and I'll uh, see you guys on the next part. Goodbye.